Hi and welcome to Home Assistant How To with Bearded Tinker. Today we're going to play with the weather maps. We'll start in 10 seconds. And as always, before we go any further, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my channel. Thank you very much, your support really, really means a lot. And also, thanks to everybody who subscribed or liked my videos. Thank you! Now, let's get cracking with the today's video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can have pretty maps such as this one inside your Home Assistant. Unfortunately, no, you cannot do anything with them, you can only display them, but I bet that some of you will enjoy having such weather maps inside your Lovelace user interface. As I said, you cannot do much here, meaning that the only thing that you can do is display the map itself, but there are tons and tons of options for the maps. For example, we can switch to rain or temperature, clouds, waves if you are near the seaside, particles in the air, etc. So how do you get this map embedded inside your Lovelace like this? The process is really simple and it will only take you a couple of seconds. Well, as a matter of fact, the process is so simple that you will probably spend 99% of the time more trying to figure out what kind of map you want to have as a default one. As you can see, even this map can be scrolled you can here change what you want to see. And you can also play the forecast, meaning that for some things you can see past events, but for other things you can see what will happen or what is expected to happen in the future. For example, for this pressure, we can see that it will start to slightly shift, going down. Ok, so what you have to do? You have to go to windy.com. The URL to that page is down in the description of the video. And when you are on the windy.com web page, all you have to do is click on the burger icon, select embed widget on page, and here customize how you would like this widget to look at your site. So first of all, zoom in to whatever region you are interested. Use plus sign. I will be pulling the information for Dubrovnik. Okay, this is close enough. The next thing that you can do is select here the size. I will leave it as is. For wind and temperature, you can select default values. You have option of using knots, meters per second, kilometers per hour, miles per hour, and BFT. Or is it before or something like that? I'm not sure. I will select miles per hour because that's what I understand. I do not want to calculate from meters to second. For temperature, you can select Celsius or Fahrenheit. I will be selecting Celsius here. For forecast, you have option of using now, next 12 or next 24 hours. I will leave it at now. Okay. More or less, these are all the basic configurations. The one that you can also try here is show marker in the middle. And if you position your map correctly, you can get exact specific location, pinpoint with this pin, and it will show you currently the wind conditions for that location. Isolines, if you like them. And you can try and include spot forecast. This will allow you to have embedded forecast on the page. I will not be using that. As I said, the next option is to select what you want to see here. So we have radar, lightning. Let me move it back to Dubrovnik. We have wind, rain, temperature clouds, waves, CO concentration, pressure, weather warnings, which is nice, but I would then suggest that you pull up or zoom out the map. And there is also option for you to add more layers. 
Okay, now that we have selected what we want, I will be selecting Rain and Thunder. I will disable for now this show marker in the middle. Here you can see how this will look inside your Home Assistant. You can try and play it. It's time to embed this inside our Home Assistant Lovelace UI. You have to copy this, go to your Home Assistant, select where you want to add this, edit dashboard, I will go to weather, add card, type here web page, remove this and paste the link. Okay, let's clean up this. I will remove this on the front, so iframe will be removed, this here, and now we will have here just pure URL, the iframe part is removed, and as you can see, you can already see it, how it will be previewed or how it will be viewed on your Lovelace UI. The other option that you have here is to play with the percentages. I normally had it previously at 75%, but you can also leave it at 100%. And let's press save. Press X here. And now we have embedded in our Lovelace UI this really nice weather map with the location. No matter if you move this to some other location, each time when you go to a different page and return to the page with the map, it will reload the location that you specified when you created the iframe. Of course, you are feel free to enlarge or zoom in, zoom up, change and see if there is any snow in the region. Well, it looks like there will be some snow. And as I said, each time when you reload the page, it will be back exactly where it was before. And this is it. You will not be able to do anything with that data, but you will have nice weather radar or weather information inside your Lovelace UI. So if you are using it on a tablet or displaying it on your living room TV or on some smart device, you will always have nice weather information shown graphically. And this is it for this Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Tinker. I really do hope that you enjoy this video, this short video, and that you will find use for this weather integration. If you still have any kind of a comment or a question in regard to this video or any previous video I did, you can always find me on the Discord server but also feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified in the future updates. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up because it not just means a lot to me, but it also helps with the YouTube algorithms. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.